My name is Liwa, and I speak for the trees, because the trees have no tongues. Wind fly! Smash ground! Ouch, 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 ouch. What is going on you guys? Warrior Studios here, and today I am taking a look at the 2002 Bionicle set, Liwa Nuva. So yeah, Liwa, let's get into it. Starting off with a 360 here, you can see uh, he uses just the plain Mata Torso with some augmentations, I believe is the word, if that is a word. Um, the legs are a little open and exposed from this angle, but it doesn't bother me that much. You can see some gears back here. He has these nice silver shoulder armors and, of course, the silver chest plate that is in all of the Nuva sets. I mean, I guess these are in all the Nuva sets as well, but, eh, you know. I find that Liwa here actually shares some resemblance with Toa Tahu Nuva. I mean, you can see, sorry, they're not really framed very good. You can see some major uh, similarities, such as the legs are exactly the same. The arms are almost identical, except for the piece used is reversed. So it's flipped. Um, except, of course, the obvious colors, mask, weapons, and also, oop, Liwa here only has one gear in the back. Uh, well, he was sold with one gear in the back, although he was included another one. But yeah, that's kind of, I just thought, a little interesting, you know, little thing. Leila swords here, as you can see, are pretty cool looking. I mean, I don't think I took too much time to look on uh, the other Toa at their weapons, but you can see, pretty cool looking. I will try to pay closer attention to their weapons in the future. Yeah. Taking a closer look at his mask here, you can see it's got mm, some pretty good detail. You know, just, it's the mask. Pretty nice. Uh, does it resemble the Miru? Eh! Kind of. And you can see he, if I take that off, supports the uh, trans green, not support, sports, whatever. The trans green brain stock and just the classic gray head here. And of course, this is the Miru Nuva, uh, Mask of Levitation Nuva, to those of you who do not know his special ability. Now, do you remember those gears we found on the back? Oh yeah, those do something, like this. Okay, so you can see the gears run into the back, and by simply turning this gear, you can see something magical happens to that arm. Do you see the arm right there is moving? Let's take a closer look at the action. Look at that, folks! Sorry, in all fairness, all joking aside, I mean, uh, this is still pretty cool. I mean, you can get some slashing motions, you know, some maybe punching if you took the sword out, which I am not going to do. Uh, and then the other arm is just on a pin, so that just kind of free, ooh, you know, woo, yeah, okay, whatever. But, let's say you are posing him. Oh no, what are you going to do? Do not fear, for there is a solution to gravity. So you can't, you know, keep his arm up. All you have to do is just use this little assembly that's shown right here on the back. You see this axle and this gear, you know, like that. It was already on the back. I mean, you saw it. And then just hook it in there, and it locks the gear into place. So push it down. You can move it up. Just hold that there. Push the gear back, and look at that, folks. Just like that, it's locked into place. This isn't going anywhere. Of course, there still is the uh, motion here in the joint right there. Yeah. Cool! As far as posability is concerned, he uh, can move his legs back. You can move the ankles all around. You can move his legs out, over. Uh, no head articulation, no knee articulation, no elbow articulation, although there is full wrist articulation, and some shoulder articulation. As you can see here, you can't move it out, you can't really move it in, just up and down is what you're permanently cursed 
to do. And of course, as I said, legs can't go forward, so no sitting motions unless you want to take the whole joint off and do that. So that's, that's posability right there. Yay! A uh, special little function here uh, that was advertised is for you to take the swords, you know, all these Toa Nuva have a dual function. You take the swords and you kind of go like, like that, I guess. Let me see. Like that, kind of. And he flies. In the movie, he also he did something similar to this. He flies. Now, I'm not sure if I did this right. I'm just, I'm trying my best here, folks. But yeah, a little kind of weird with this arm, so got to be cautious of that, but he flies, yay. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of one of the lesser of the um, action functions. You know, like you got Tahu, he has the surfboard, and Kopaka has skis, and all the Nuva have something cool. This is just kind of unfortunate. Well, people, that's all you need to know on Toa Liwa here. Um, I believe I did this in my other videos. You can see underneath the chest plate, like that. I don't know if that's important, but I did it in my other video, so I'm going to do it in this one, even though I forgot already. Anyway, that's pretty much all Leo here can do. Now it's up to your imagination to make him do other impressive stuff. Um, let's talk pricing. It's extremely hard to get a hold of this guy, seeing that he came out in 2002, so you have to buy him off like Bricklink or eBay, uh, maybe Amazon. I don't know if they still do that. Um, so, pricing's not cheap, but you can find some good prices. I got him and his five other uh, companions, the other Toa Nuva, for $50, and that included shipping. So that was pretty nice. I got him off eBay at a really good seller, if I remember. Hey, future me, when you're editing this, put a link in the description below for the seller of these guys. It was really great. Fast shipping. Um, it didn't get here fast, unfortunately, due to some fires where he was from. So that was totally Mail's fault. So you don't have to worry about that. I, I mean, you shouldn't, unless there's another disaster or something. Nah, that'll never happen. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you guys all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys liked Toa Liwa here. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider dropping a like or maybe subscribing. If you like what you see here, there's more of this on the way. I will see you guys in the next video. So long for now. Talking with my hands.